even though this one's called a pant hanger so that you can fold like at least three over them, I don't really love using it for that. They get too heavy. Again, you can't see what you're working with, but I do love using this hang, this type of hanger for scarves. You can do like three to four, I think, scarves on one of these and you can see them. They're thin. They're like folded really nice and neat and you can easily um, fit several of these in one um, area of your closet um, instead of having them in a basket or just looped on something and having to go through all of them. I love this hanger for scarves. Um, you can also you know, use them for your like smaller things too, but um, this is a really great trick for scarves. Let me see what else. I guess we've kind of gone over everything. I'll go through. We've got some new people that just started, so we'll go through again. Since we're on the topic of hangers, let's present what I started with. I was saying that the only hanger I think you should have in your closet is this hanger. And they are so great. And right now, Home Basics, the ones that um, Very Shop has, are a really decent price. I really, I think these are less than what um, I've gotten them in the past, even on Amazon, especially if you get the extra 15% off today. So that's a really great deal for this mini in one pack. But the great thing about these hangers, again, is that it keeps um, things from falling off. The width of these are really great because they fit the shoulders of most garments really well. Um, and they're thinner, so you're able to, to fit so many more things in your closet than you would on those, like, thick plastic hangers. Uh, wire hangers are the absolute worst. I know I'm sounding like Mommy Dearest, but um, they just ruin your clothes, and they break, and it's just, it's a mess. I really wish our dry cleaners would figure out something else other than wire hangers when giving us stuff back, but highly recommend these. And then another thing that I was talking about a while ago that I'll say again is the pant version for the pant skirt short version of these. Um, I really prefer a hanger with the prongs versus, versus using a hanger like this for your bottoms because folding over just takes up too much space in your closet. Um, you also just can't see your goods as well. So for example, if your pant, if your pan is hanging like this, you can tell which jean that is in the amongst of all of your jeans that you have in your closet without having to pull them all out, take them off the hanger, check out which ones it is. And it just um, saves so much more time. It's also easier to organize your jeans and your pants that way because then you can see like all your skinny jeans in one area, all your longer pants, your pants for when you wear flats are in one area. It just uh, makes life easier. The more you can see, the more organized you can be and the more, the faster you can get ready in the morning. So, and it makes it a lot easier when deciding what you want to edit out of your closet too. So, which is very important. So these velvet ones are really nice for, um, for all your bottoms. I also think that they're really um, nice for when you have sets. Um, everybody's buying your mat, those matching sets now. Um, every retailer now has that. <laughs> as an option of even just clothing to look at. This is a really great thing to be able to put like, say the pair of shorts and the matching tank top all on one hanger together to, to keep them together in your closet as well. And that would take up less space than having two things hanging beside each other as well. So um, that's another thing that's really great about these hangers and how I utilize them. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna talk about I'm going to present this again because um, it was a big hit last time. Erin, I think you bought this last time. But I think you even showed it on uh, Instagram, which was awesome. Um, but this is the uh, Zimtown Makeup Organizer, but you can use it for so many other things. Um, we had somebody talk about utilizing it for baked goods, crafting, um, I think it'd be great for keeping like sewing uh, materials and sewing kit stuff. That's basically what we use it for in the studio. Um, obviously you can use it for makeup, but it, you can really utilize it for so many other things. Um, little girls, I think I may even get one of these for my little cousin for Christmas because I went to her, uh, we played Barbies last time I was home and um, her stuff is everywhere, like in Ziploc bags, like thrown everywhere. And I 
tried to teach her how to organize her Barbie closet. I even bought her a Barbie closet. It's not working. But I think this, since she can see everything, would actually really help out a lot. So that's actually good. I think I'm going to get more of these. Um, but I love the fact that it has, like, the contact paper in it, the non-slip stuff, so that little things don't move around so much. Um, so I highly recommend this. This is such a great deal. It's under $20. And, again, you get the 15% off on top of that. So, I mean, you just it's just so easy. Okay. Next, let's go back to... Awesome. So we're going to talk about um, these baskets again. So the one thing I love about baskets is it's um, kind of a chic way of organizing things. And it's a very easy mobile thing to, to organize. So like things that you're moving around a lot, um, it's really great to throw those in baskets. And you can kind of put them all over in different places of the house. You can grab them, take them different places. Um, in the studio, we put like extra hangers or we'll put all of like our Spanx bottoms or bras and like during fittings and have it out so you can easily just like grab, um, look through it and then throw it off to the side, but it still looks nice. Um, I also at home utilize this a lot for my laundry. I have um, like four of these baskets like in a closet and each one is for a different color. So lights, darks, uh, whites and towels. And that just takes um, a lot of steps out of my way when I'm really busy and I only have time to maybe do one or two loads while I'm home for, you know, a few hours. I can just grab one of these, throw it in, and then I have it right by the washer and dryer for when it comes out to throw it in and, and bring it up for folding. Um, and let's say I don't get to folding it right away. <gasps> I know. Ooh. But it's just in a basket really pretty somewhere probably in the corner of my bedroom. And it doesn't look hideous. So it's just a really easy, efficient but chic way to either A, organize, or B, hide messes. So we all need help with that. I like these because they're kind of pretty decently depth, and the size and width is really good. To me, if you get two crazy big of baskets, unless you're using them for, like, comforters and, and blankets, um, you can just put too much in them, and they get too heavy, and then it kind of defeats the purpose. So I kind of like a medium, medium size basket. Um, more than I like the really big ones. I just think I utilize them a little bit more. All right, let's go to the next thing. Also, great price with these two. They're less than uh, $40. I also wanted to share again, since we have some new folks. Um, so steamers. Obviously, being a stylist, we utilize steamers every day. And I've probably tried every single one on the market, but I had yet to find a really good travel size one. So this one I actually am really happy about, and I'm so glad I found it. Also, the price of this one's really great. It's under $50, and it's really hard to find a really good steamer um, for under $50. So just let you know. It's really well made. The metal part here is really great because it almost acts like an iron. Um, obviously, don't use this on leathers. Um, you have to be really careful with silks and satins, too, because the pushing of the, wa the water stream out, um, if satins or, or silks get wet, um, it's really hard to get those watermarks out. So that's, I actually prefer to use an, an iron on those, just a heads up, really light iron. Um, or you can steam from a really far distance and just let the steam barely hit it. But I, it's a really tough thing to do. But anyways, I highly recommend this. It's, it's got a good weight. I like the organi the thing to organize the cord. That makes it really easy for, for travel. And I really like this bag that it comes with because if it's still warm when you get done, instead of like having to wait for it to cool off if you need to get packed and out of there quickly, you can just throw it in this um, heat-resistant bag and go, which is really nice. Um, so I... This is now going to be in my suitcase forever. Uh, I love it, and I highly recommend it. Really great gift for people. This is one of those things that people love to have, but they don't think about it until they have it. So if you know anybody, the best thing ever. Also, more people are able to steam, and it's faster than ironing. 
Um, let's see here. Next, I'll just kind of go over these again. This is the basket, uh, the, you see this shelving unit right here that I have the baskets on. I kind of did this to show you like how we utilize these in like closets and in the studio. I like using stuff like this versus um, like just tables or actual closet units because it's mobile um, and I can, you know, sometimes these are able to make them taller or shorter. Um, this one's a really good size. I can move it around really easy, but I love putting accessories on these so that we can see them really easily. You can have jewelry trays and have your jewelry out where you can see it. Your handbags can go in these. Um, shoes, any of your small goods that you need to pick up and be able to see in one spot. Again, in as much as you can see in your closet at one time, the faster you're going to be able to make decisions and um, the more likely you're going to utilize all your all your items. Because if things are put away in like drawers or put away behind things, you're probably going to forget that you have them and less likely to use them. And then if you're having to search for things when getting ready, that just like takes up more time. I love to be able to scan my closet and know exactly what all's in there. And it just makes it like minutes for me to be able to pick out something. Um, so I highly recommend utilizing something like this or similar. Um, the price on these are really good too. It's under $100 and it's made very well. I also like the kind of the industrial, modern industrial feel that you can add to um, org like organizational spaces. So. And then lastly, we'll go over shoe racks again. We utilize shoe racks like crazy in our studio, especially for fittings. Um, let me grab, I did this last time and I forgot to grab some shoes. Let me grab that really fast. So one way that we do it in the studio that's a little more unique than maybe like the average way is we will put them up like so. I don't know if you can see that. We kind of hang them like that so that you can actually see. Let me move this a little bit. There you go. So you can see the whole shoe really quickly. Obviously, you're not going to be able to hold as many like this. But if you want to be able to showcase your shoes where you can see them a little bit better and for faster grab and go, this is just a little trick that we do um, for fittings so that we can see everything lined up um, and we organize them by color and style. Um, and it just makes it so much faster to be like, ooh, that shoe with that dress or, or whatever. Um, it also, these are super lightweight. So you can see, like I can easily move these around. So this, these are really great if you have a space that is probably limited and you need to have stuff organized, but you need to pull it out when you need it, put it back when you're done. These would be really great for that because they're super lightweight. I don't know if you want something in a fixated spot all the time. I don't know if these would be the one. I'd recommend getting an all metal one, but we need them to be able to move around really easily because we don't have them set up 24 seven. Um, so these are really great for, for that because these are all made out of plastic. So they're so lightweight. We can even throw these in um, our SUVs and take them to fittings as well, which it, um, comes in handy when we have to set up at people's homes. Um, and it kind of gets all the shoes off the floor too, which just helps with space in general. So I think that's about it today with everything that we went over. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, anything you purchase today, you'll get an extra 15% um, off on top of any sale items. And Very Shop has so many things on sale. And that goes for anything on Very Shop. It doesn't necessarily have to be what we talked about today. So this would be a really great time to get some Christmas gifts to get that added sale. Um, let me know again if you have any questions or need anything. Um, I'm also always available to message um, on here. If not, my username on here is the same as my Instagram, so you can find me on there as well. So, um, this is probably my last live before Christmas. I'm going to try maybe to get one more in before Christmas. We'll see. We're trying to close up shop this week for the holidays, um, so it's been kind of crazy. But 
Um, if so, I hope you all have a happy holidays and um, I will be seeing you soon.